Hi, it's Jenny with Jenny's Week Boutique, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to make a beautiful, brightly colored spring and summer wreath. And this wreath will have a kit available until supplies last. So I will link that kit in the description of this video, but I only have um, a limited amount so when they are sold out they are sold out and I won't be able to restock the supplies but I wanted to let you know that is there let's go over the materials you're gonna need we are using a 14 inch grapevine we're gonna be using some ruscus I love these um, this is one of my favorite greeneries to use and I just actually started listing these in my Etsy shop because this is an item I get wholesale and not retail so if you just want this greenery and you have other options for this, I have this greenery available in my Etsy shop as well. We're also going to be using some button leaf spray. I've got three stems of this. Little daisies. I'm obsessed with these. They're so fun for spring and summer. I have one stem and then one bunch from another stem. I have these brightly colored anemones. Aren't those beautiful? They're like a coral with that deep middle. These are what inspired this wreath. So these are so fun. And then to go with that, here we have a fireworks bush. Aren't these so cute? I love these two together. This really kind of ties it all back to each other. And then also with that color, you can see it in these berries or pods. I'm not sure exactly what they're called, but I love these. They're so fun and they have such a good texture. I love it because so I have these yellow thistle these flowers and see how the these things just kind of bring the two together. They have both colors in it. I like to have an element like that in my wreath designs. And then I'm just using a few stems of this button leaf spray. It's a ferny thing. I'm only using three and I'm going to be cutting them in half. I'll show you that in a little bit so that they're not quite as thick and that way we only need three. And for another pop of fun spring color, I have these berries. They are spike berries. Okay, so they've got these white dots on the leaves and they've got these little fuzzy little hairs on the berries, which I don't mind. That's just how they came, but I just love that bright blue color. They really pop. I love them. First, we're gonna be using our Ruskis. So I'm gonna cut these up. If you order a kit, I'll have them cut up for you. So I've got some pieces with three, three, two, and three. So I'm going to do that with both bushes. These are such good quality and I use them year round. I use them in year round wreaths. I use it in Christmas wreaths even. I have a hoop wreath tutorial in my VIP group that is so cute and it uses these with some evergreens. Um, so it's great for any time of year. It's just such a good staple greenery. So I'm going to be adding this all around the wreath. This wreath is going to be a full coverage wreath. So I'm just gluing along the stem, putting it in the grapevine, along the grain. Oops. So it lays pretty flat against the grapevine. And this wreath is going to be about 21 to 22 inches in total diameter at the end. So it's perfect for a front, regular size front door. Of course, if you want to make this on an 18 inch grapevine, I would recommend if you want a kit to buy two because that'll get you enough materials for two. I didn't space these very well. <laughs> so I'm just going to cut them a little bit and spread them where I see any spaces. Ideally, I would have spaced them perfectly so it's all even, but it doesn't always end up that way. So what I do is I just go back. I usually cut them up so I can spread them around. 
I just go back and fill in where there might be any gaps or where it could thicken up a little. Or you could just save those pieces for the next wreath if you don't need them. I'm going to use them up here. Leaf tip to leaf tip is how I measure. Okay, so if you're going all the way leaf tip to leaf tip, it's more like 24 or 25 inches. But I think this is gonna be the furthest greenery that goes out. So just from a 14 inch grapevine, you're gonna be making a pretty good size wreath. And it all depends on how you lay out your greenery too. Cause I put most of these right in the middle. Now we're gonna add these and I'm gonna cut them right in half just so we have a chunk on the bottom and a chunk up there. I'm gonna cut it right here. So right there. And that will give us six pieces. And all we're gonna do for this is spread it out evenly along the wreath. And this is a greenery that I got a while ago and I kind of didn't like it at first when I first saw it but the more I use it, the more I love it. It's got such a fun little unique texture. It is really great if you want like a darker green mixed with a lighter green, it blends really well. And it's got great sturdy small stems that are perfect for adding into a grapevine. Next, we're gonna be using these, and I'm like I said earlier, I'm gonna cut each of them in half. So I'll have six pieces, and I will put them in between each of these little button leaves. I think these are called button leaf, and these are called rounded leaf. Something like that. It just looks like a fern to me. So if you put them in like this, this doesn't give it much of a stem. I should have moved that back, but that's okay. And if you're worried about these staying on, just dab a little bit of glue at the top and that'll glue it to the stem so those top leaves won't pull off. And that's a great way to get more bang for your buck out of things like this. Whereas I didn't want a huge clump of these together. I wanted more sporadically so this is the perfect way to do it. So I just move the bottom three leaves down. And then I glue that top one on. And you don't have to do that, but I like to. Okay, so I'm just gonna rotate the top piece. It doesn't really matter, but just for consistency's sake, I will rotate the top piece and the bottom piece right in between our last layer of greenery that we put down and this is going to add that pretty ferny grassy texture and it keeps the wreath really interesting Sometimes I like to fluff everything out a little bit. 
Okay, next we're going to add these, our fireworks bush. For these, we only have five stems, but it's perfect because we have five flowers and they have great stems for wreath making too. Oops. If the head falls off, just glue it back on. That can happen all the time, no matter the quality of things. There's always little flower heads that pop off. So just glue it back on and it's good to go. And this has such a fun grassy texture. This one only has two heads, so I'm actually going to take one from over here. I'm going to take one from the top and take it off and glue it over here. And then that extra piece I'm just going to cut off. Looking so cute. I love it. I, we finally got some color going on. So pretty. This has four different sections that have berries. So what I'm going to do is take another section from another one so that I have five berries. I know I call them berries, but they're like pods. So we'll have five in total. And then I'm just going to take these little extra leaves that don't have a pod. And I'm going to use them toward the center to cover up the grapevine a little bit. So we're using one full stem and one piece. And these kind of little extras on stems are great for putting on the inside to cover up that grapevine. So I'm just going to place these in between our fireworks bush pieces. And they do have thicker stems which are sometimes harder to put into the grapevine. So just try and find a spot that is a little airier or you can just kind of hold it down until the glue dries. But I'd like it to get a little bit under at least a piece of grapevine. I'm just going to take those extra few pieces and just stick them toward the inside of the grapevine to cover up that grapevine a little. It's looking so cute. So for the berries, I like to separate the stem and then kind of fan out the leaves a little bit. I see why they're called spike berries. They have these little spikes on the berries. See how it has those little dots? So I'm going to have some stick out further. Where there's a space. So I'm going to have three stick out further and then two be more in the middle. Oops. 
So the shorter berries, I'm going to put more toward the middle. See how we have, we have three longer and two shorter. I'm just having the longer ones stick out toward the edge. Okay, it's time. I'm putting my anemones in, and then I'll add these last pieces last. <laughs> so I just cut the stems a little bit, and they are kind of foamy. You can always check to make sure it's all connected. But since these are going straight into a grapevine, um, it'll be fine. You can take the tubing off if you want, and you'll have a smaller, skinnier stem. But I like that these are that lime green color because it goes with the wreath really well. So I'm going to have some of these toward the inside and some toward the outside. All right, so now we're going to add in our daisies. They're so cute. So I have five total plus a little extra one, just this little one all by itself. So each stem has four clusters and I'm just gonna, and then I have the one from the other stem. So I'll have five clusters total. So they'll go nicely in between each of these flowers. And I think these are really gonna pull everything together. And they have that cute yellow middle, which really ties in the yellow from these and the yellow that we're gonna add later. This is so cute. It really gives us a cottage garden vibe, which I love. So cute. I have that one little extra flower, so I'm just going to add it right there. Just anywhere really is fine. Just going to add it right next to this flower. So fun. And for these, each stem has three picks. I'm gonna pull the middle one down a little bit to give it a little bit of space so it's not all up there. See how they're all in one clump? If you pull that piece down a little bit, it gives it a little bit more space. So they're spaced out a tiny bit more, but not a lot. So wherever I'm gonna add these is gonna be wherever I see like, if it needs some space, if it needs some filler. Oh my goodness, how fun is this wreath? It's so bright and pretty and colorful. I love it so much. And if you want to tie a loop on the back for easy hanging, of course it hangs easily straight from the grapevine. But what you want to do is you find wherever it looks best, just use a piece of jute twine on a nice sturdy piece or a group of pieces and you just 
grab the two pieces, wrap it around your finger, pull it through just like a little knot, tighten it. That's all I do. Very simple. And look how cute it is. What do you think? What do you think of these colors together? I know I normally do it monochromatic, but anyway, if you enjoyed this, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done that. And if you want to grab a kit before they are sold out, it will be linked in the description. All right, I will see you in the next video. Bye.